Hi, I'm John Blumenthal with United Yacht Sales. Today we're on the Eurybia. It's a 60-foot Jim Smith Express built in 2018. I'm here to show you around the vessel today, so let's go take a look. Here we are in the cockpit and it's an angler's dream. It's so big and roomy. We've got rod holders in the teak covering boards, beautiful teak sole. You've got a step up. Captain has actually got his own cockpit control with the joystick here, which is fantastic when you're playing a fish. On the mezzanine, you've got extra seating here with storage underneath. We've got a fish box here with an Eskimo dump. Here we've got a uh, live well in the transom. It's actually painted blue, which the uh, live bait love. And it can also act as a, a fish box if one doesn't want to use it for live well. Everything is complete here. Rod holders abound, and we must not forget this beautiful blue water chair. This blue water chair is one of their large versions. We actually have a rocket launcher on the, on the back uh, rest here, which is great for light tackle fishing. Um, we've got plenty of rod holders in all the covering boards, so no problem at all. On the tower, we've actually got three extra uh, rod holders on each leg. One of the great attributes of this Express is that it's a full walk around. As you can see, me walking backwards, I'm walking up to the bow Sometimes we might be playing a fish, and it's great because you can get your knees right in there and you're not gonna go anywhere if you're playing a fish. Beautiful place to be up here to, to be able to fish. We can set an anchor. We can sit here and take a rest. Right here, we've got the, a nice big hatch which gives plenty of sunlight into the master stateroom. On the bow, we've got a stainless steel plow, and downstairs here in the anchor locker, there's a huge fortress, both with heavy tackle to deploy. Rod holders, four total, two on each side, port and starboard. And we also have electric reel outlets up here in case we want to do deep dropping for swordfish, possibly, or put the uh, kites out on the electric reels. On the hardtop, we've got our EPIRB, we've got the Fleur, we've got a 72 mile radar, and backed up with a six man life raft. Okay, so I'm up in the tower right now. I've got a beautiful Angaro wheel, got GPS, I've got side by side MTU levers, I've got a joystick, RPM gauges, everything is blacked out for fishing, even the front panel here. So it really is a captain's dream to be up here and just see everything on the bow and also down in the cockpit. It is really set up nicely for any type of fishing, whether you're live baiting, you're deep dropping with our electric reel outlets or trolling, just on a regular day trolling out there. So, you know, Beautiful size, it's just ready to roll. Down here in Eurybia's engine room, I've got a couple of M96L MTU motors. They're rated at 1600 horsepower and they get this baby cruising. 
Over here, I've got a Cummins Onan generator. That's also rated at 21 and a half kilos. Behind me, we've got a Sea Keeper 9 to keep the boat steady. I've got a switchboard up against the forward bulkhead. Other items inside the engine room include a Spot Zero, also a water maker, and the Dometic uh, slushy machine. But as you can see, it's very bright in here. It's finished off with all grip, paint, and it's just a cruise dream to keep her nice and clean. So I've just come up from the cockpit and now I'm sitting on the starboard bench seat. There's also one on the port side. Both bench seats have storage underneath for rods and, and reels. Um, there's a beautiful teak uh, dinette table to eat from. It's teak floor throughout the whole vessel up here with wonderful, easy to see why enclosure around, which gives you a, a great 360 degree view. We've got recessed speakers and also recessed lights, LEDs that go red, white and blue in the ceiling, which is also has a satin finish, which takes a lot of glare away from, you know, a day out on the water. Starting at the helm, we've got two beautiful blue water chairs, a teak pod with stainless steel wheel, Palm Beach controls with bow thrusters, two 8622 Garmin uh, units for your navigation, and lift this lid up, we've got a joystick, automatic pilot, VHF radios, trim pad controls, MTU controls. It's just all set up. Above us here, we've got the US 9 uh, Epoch teaser reels. So everything is at fingertip control. And forward, we've got that easy to see why panel, which can easily lift up on a beautiful clear day. Okay, we're downstairs now, and I'm sitting in the dinette galley area. Further forward, we've got a crew quarters on the port side with over and under bunk. And up in the bow, there's a master stateroom with a Queen Island berth, and he and she has her own bathroom up there. Well, we're all tied up at the dock now. Thanks for being with us today on the tour that we've done. If you've got any questions at all, please call me. I'm John Blumenthal with United Yacht Sales. So have a great day. Cheers for now.